Frontline workers could soon be getting bonus pay from the state. GOP members announced their proposal that would give frontline workers in Minnesota $1,200. State lawmakers have $250 million in federal funds that they can distribute among long-term care facility staff and essential workers. GOP says $1,200 is the best amount to give out among certain essential workers. Democrats, though, have a different idea. Kamaria Bray breaks it all down. For the past year, the world has appreciated healthcare staff and other frontline workers like never before. We always have and we always will be there for our patients and for the people. And because of those efforts, Minnesota lawmakers want to thank those people with bonus pay. And the GOP announced its amount recommendation. $1,200. Uh, this bonus shows our gratitude to these critical care workers who put themselves most at risk to keep the rest of us safe and healthy. For Republicans, the focus for that money would only go to a certain group of essential workers. Long-term caregivers, uh, nursing home employees, um, PCAs, first responders, um, corrections officers. While Democrats hope for a different amount. You know, the plan that the Democrats had proposed uh, back before the Labor Day deadline was a $1,500 amount. Representative Liz Bowden isn't on the committee for the bonus pay, but tells us Democrats want more frontline workers included than the GOP members listed. I think what's important to note, though, the difference in the proposals is that who is included and who is not included. Nurses and PCAs and nursing assistants, definitely they should be included in this. And we should also be uh, widening that net, you know, child care providers, teachers, uh, food service workers. Republicans say to distribute the $250 million among the groups the Democrats prefer would give essential workers a low bonus check. They, they were going to publicly say that they were giving people $1,500. But when you divided that out by their eligible pool of workers, we were looking at about $200. That's a bait and switch. We cannot do that to Minnesotans. Democratic Representative Cedric Fraser, who's also on the committee, responded to the GOP's proposal saying the Republican proposal insults and discounts the sacrifices of the other frontline workers they leave out. Republican Senators Carla Nelson of Rochester and Jeremy Miller of Winona have both expressed support for the GOP's proposal to give $1,200 to certain frontline workers. The bonus pay committee consists of three Democrats and three Republicans. They are going to have to come to some sort of agreement before they can move forward uh, with this plan to the rest of the legislature.